Porsche purists have mourned the loss of the manual transmission on high performance models such as the 911 GT3 RS. For a car that is meant to be all about that man and machine connection, the lack of three pedals didn't sit well with the fans. Thankfully, Porsche is a brand that listens to its core customers, and here especially for you is the Porsche 911 R. The name has been taken from the limited run Porsche 911 R of 1967, which was a stripped out model designed for homologation. This modern car follows the lightweight ethos with a more minimalist interior and lacks much of the soundproofing its siblings have. It tips the scales at 1,370 kilograms, which is 50 kilograms less than the already light GT3 RS. Power is sourced from the same 4 litre naturally aspirated flat 6 engine as the aforementioned RS. This unit has dynamic mounts to reduce its movement through fast corners. It produces 493 brake horsepower at 8,250 rpm. This car's power to weight ratio is 13 brake horsepower per tonne better than a GT3 RS. Torque comes to 339 pounds feet. When it comes to numbers, the Porsche 911 R will do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and go on to a top speed of 201 miles per hour. Power is sent to the rear wheels via a six-speed manual transmission with no automatic option and a mechanical differential. Bespoke ratios and a double clutch mode features. Large 410mm and 390mm carbon brakes sit in each corner. The emphasis on aerodynamics has been reduced with a static rear wing being removed in place of a small deployable wing. A large diffuser and front splitter will still retain adequate downforce. Nine hundred and ninety one Porsche nine eleven Rs will be built, each costing one hundred and thirty six thousand nine hundred and one pounds. Thanks very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more on the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For all of the latest automotive news, written reviews, and coverage from motor shows, go to www.insidelane.co.uk.